sorry for the bumpiness of this, but I'm currently heading home right now because I'm going to be starting to make some products for Dripco. I'm really excited for this, and as you can see, it's beautiful outside. It's so pretty. We were just at my Nana's house, so that's why we're at the beach. My mom's here. And I've been on Pinterest all day, and I've been looking at some ideas, and I think I have some products that I really want to make. So I'm going to go home, I'm going to go to my shed, and I'm going to start making them. So I'm really excited. I also want to show you this. I don't know where to put you. The phone's going to fall. Oh, kind of works. Nope. <laughs> Sorry for the weird glare that's happening, but I'm going to show you this. I got this at the thrift store today. Um, phone, don't fall on me again. Um, it's a digital camera. Oh my goodness, this lighting. Okay. All right, so I got this digital camera at the thrift store today, pretty much. I'm really struggling with this. This is a digital camera. I'll take a photo of you. See? Now it's out of memory, because it's like 16 megabits on the SD card. So I have to go home and get like actual gigabytes. So yeah, it's summer because I'm going to take some product photos on it. And then I also have my film camera. I'm currently in my shed right now and I have decided So I'm currently in my shed right now and I have officially decided Oh, I'm currently in my shed right now and I've officially come up with an idea that I'm going to be creating My idea is pretty much a baby tee So I've got this shirt here I'm going to crop it so it's like a crop top and my idea is that on the front of the tiny shirt, like right here, I'm gonna have these really cute Hawaiian shirt, like little flower thingies on it. So I've got it already set up on my iPad for the Cricut machine, and I'm pretty much like I've got it, I've got it all set up. Like look at this. This mat is not very sticky. It's a little bit dirty, so I've just been like making sure it stays down. I had this mat, but it's disgusting. So. I've just been using this one and another thing people don't realize about the Cricut mats is you can actually just wash them So if you get like little bits of dirt on it, you can just you can just wash it off So like it will regenerate its stickiness. I guess that's what you call it Okay, we're officially all done. So now I can take it on out. I have Really no clue how big these are. I'm just kind of hoping that they're like a good size I don't know if you can see it in the Sun or not there's like a little bit of a cutout. So that's what I want it to be and I just printed it onto the vinyl. So let's go ahead and take apart, like take the white off so that I have my outline. I'll show you how to do this. And then your design which you cut out stays. Ooh, that's my problem. Sometimes your design can get complicated. Like this one, I think is honestly kind of tricky to print. So I'm hoping it like comes off okay. Yay, that was pretty easy. So that's my flower, my first one. So I've got my design and pretty much it's just gonna go on the shirt like this, like a little Hawaiian kind of thing. The problem is right now this shirt is still wet. That's why it's like so vibrant. So I'm actually gonna go outside and hang this up just to like let it dry out a little bit more. And I'll come back in like an hour and then print this on. So while I do that, I'm actually going to come up with another design because I have a really cute bucket hat idea. So like a couple weeks ago, like when I first started making my products, I came up with this idea as like UFO bucket hats. And the photos I would take were like this, like, like that. And then I'd snap a photo real quick. So... What I'm going to do is put a little alien on it so it's like in the UFO, you know? 
beautiful hats. I think that's going to be really popular. And then when that shirt's dry, I'm going to put this on. And then I might come up with, like, I might draw my own design onto a shirt. Because recently those have been really popular. And, yeah. So I'm just going to, like, work on the alien hat with you guys. And then let's go hang this one up. So this is the little alien dude I came up with for the bucket hats. I think he's pretty cute. I mean, like, you can tell what it is. It's a UFO and, like, yeah, it's cute. So I'm now going to make this a PNG and then send this over. <laughs> These are just some of my vast drawings. That's really small. Make it a little bit bigger. Let's make it, like, that big, maybe. That's pretty big for a bucket hat. Okay, let's see. So that is a full size of a mat. Sorry, ignore my fingerprints. And this is a full size of a mat. Then that is six. Oh, yeah, that's a big. Okay, we're going to make that smaller. I like that big. Okay, let's see. Now that's like five and then like three. So like that big. And then bucket hat. That's still pretty big. That's still pretty big. Let's make it a little bigger. All right, right to that line. Let's do that. problem with uh, my vinyl is me and my mom she sometimes mixes up her vinyl with my vinyl and I thought this was heat transfer but no this is sticky vinyl and so this is useless now and so I just basically did a bit of vinyl so now I'm gonna have to reprint the UFO design but these are the hats I've chosen for the design I'm gonna use this like cotton candy one and then I rainbow one for the UFO hats, I'm really excited. They're gonna turn out so cool. I think they're gonna be one of my most popular items. So let's let's keep working. Let's fix this problem. I just realized that's actually a good thing that I messed up because I didn't even mirror the image. So the alien would have come out all wonky and ugly looking. So um, I'm glad I messed up and didn't waste my vinyl. Like, you know, like something I'm gonna use later. So now let's go ahead and print my other one. Oh, why is it in sideways? That's okay. Knows what it's doing, hopefully. Yeah, so it's a lot later, and I finished the bucket hats. I actually ended up taking photos of them. So here are the photos. They're all going to be available on my website, so feel free to order one. I'm having a huge sale on my website right now. Like, all the bucket hats are $12, and like all my shirts are like really cheap. So go ahead and buy a bunch of stuff because like it's a blowout right before summer and then you know stuff's gonna get real. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next YouTube video. Goodbye.